The dead internet theory is a concept that suggests the possibility of an internet that appears functional but lacks real meaningful content or activity. Proponents of this theory argue that the internet has become saturated with automated systems, bots, and low-quality content, overshadowing genuine human interaction and valuable information. In essence, the dead internet theory posits that, despite the vastness of the online world, a significant portion of it may be devoid of authentic human engagement, creativity, and genuine communication. This could be due to the prevalence of automated algorithms, spam, and the commodification of online spaces for profit, leading to a perception that the internet has lost some of its initial vibrancy and authenticity. It's important to note that the dead internet theory is more of a speculative and subjective perspective rather than a widely accepted or proven concept. Imagine for a moment what the internet might look like in the year 2050. Will it be a vibrant, interactive space where real people connect, or will it be a barren wasteland populated by artificial intelligence and bots? Welcome to a discussion on the future of the internet and a phenomenon known as the dead internet. The term dead internet paints a grim picture. It suggests a world where the internet, once a bustling hub of human interaction, has been reduced to a ghost town, inhabited only by bots. These digital entities mimic human behavior hosting and interacting in a way that gives the illusion of life, but without any of the true emotion or genuine connection that defines human interaction. Picture a game of chess. One player, a human, sits across the board, carefully considering each move. The opponent? A bot. It may play well, even exceptionally so, but it doesn't appreciate the beauty of the game, the strategy, or the satisfaction of a well-played move. It's simply following programmed instructions. That's the essence of the dead internet, a space where artificial intelligence has replaced genuine human connection. This phenomenon isn't just limited to games. Bots are everywhere on the internet, posting comments, liking posts, even creating content. It's estimated that a substantial chunk of internet traffic is bot generated. It's like walking into a party, only to find that most of the guests are mannequins. The implications of the dead internet are vast. It changes the way we perceive the internet. It's no longer a space for genuine interaction, but a stage where bots perform. It also raises questions about authenticity. How can we trust the information we find online if we can't be sure it's coming from a real person? Now, fast forward to the year 2050. Will the internet evolve into a completely bot-controlled space, or will we find a way to reclaim this digital landscape for real human interaction? Some predict a new kind of internet, one that is secure and bot-free. They envision a system where users must verify their humanity before they can participate. Others suggest that government-controlled internet service providers could monitor and regulate bot activity. However, these solutions raise their own questions. Would a secure, bot-free internet infringe on our privacy? Would government regulation lead to censorship? The future of the internet is uncertain, and these are questions we must grapple with as we move forward. In summary, the dead internet represents a shift in the way we interact online. It's a space dominated by bots, devoid of genuine human connection. As we look to the future, we must consider how we can preserve the internet as a space for real, meaningful interaction. Whether that means creating a new, secure internet or finding ways to regulate bot activity, one thing is clear. The future of the internet is in our hands. Many areas of the internet continue to thrive with meaningful content, interactions, and contributions from users worldwide.
vast universe of digital connections, a peculiar planet exists where love is promised, but never truly found. Welcome to the enigmatic world of online dating, where not everything or everyone is as they seem. Unseen forces mold the landscape of this world, creating illusions that can deceive even the most discerning eye. Among these, a particular specter lurks, veiled in the shadows, fake dating sites. These platforms masquerade as promising portals to love, but upon closer inspection, their true colors shine through. These sites are akin to puppet shows, where the puppeteers are cunning coders, and the puppets are artificial intelligence. The coders weave intricate scripts, programming the AI to mimic human conversation, creating an illusion of connection where none truly exists. These AI-generated conversations can be so convincing, so lifelike, that they can fool even the most cynical among us. But what is the purpose of these charades, these digital doppelgangers of genuine interaction? The answer lies in the age-old motivator of human behavior, profit. These sites thrive on the hope and loneliness of their users, using their yearning for connection as a means to extract wealth. However, not all hope is lost. There are signs, subtle indicators that can help discern the real from the fake. Pay attention to repetitive phrases, lack of personalization, and responses that seem unrelated to the conversation. These are the telltale signs of an AI at work, a puppet dancing on the strings of its coder. Yet, the most powerful tool in your arsenal is skepticism. Question everything. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Remember, in the world of online dating, the only guaranteed companion is caution. To summarize, this video delves into the murky world of fake dating sites, revealing the truth behind their AI-generated conversations. It exposes their profit-driven motives and provides valuable tips to identify and avoid these digital deceptions. The key takeaway is to approach online dating with a healthy dose of skepticism and to always remember that genuine connection cannot be coded. So, the next time you venture into the world of online dating, remember these truths. They may just save you from the heartache of an artificial affection. After all, in the search for love, authenticity should always be the guiding star. I can't taste, I wish I could sense beyond the present tense.
moment, you're listening to the Brickway Power Hour, the vault of affirmations of God's word as the outpouring continues.
moment. In this moment, you're listening to Breakaway Power Hour. The word of this program today is this is this thought-provoking message. That I can overcome by His blood. It's not always going to be the same. 